Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Today, Pima County Attorney Laura Conover will update the community on charging decisions in the house fire turned shooting spree last month. Three people, including the gunman, died from their injuries. Mental health providers will also discuss resources and tools that the community can access to help prevent further tragedies like this from happening. The news conference is scheduled to start at 1230. Today, Banner Health's chief clinical officer is set to give an update on several aspects of COVID-19 in our state. That includes changes for visitors to Banner locations, ICU and ventilator usage and what the community can do to help slow the spread. This will be through a virtual news conference that's set to start at one this afternoon. We'll keep you updated. Today, three city council wards are on the primary ballot. Ward three Democrats Kevin Dahl is facing off with Juan Francisco Padres. The winner goes off to face independent Lucy Labosha in the general election. Karen Ulick, who replaced incumbent Paul Durham after his resignation, is not running. Ward five incumbent Richard Fimbres is running unopposed. He's been in that office since 2009. Ward 6 has three candidates. Incumbent Steve Kosachik is challenged by Andres Portella and Miranda Schubert. The winner goes on to face independent Val Romero. There are five locations to vote or turn in your mail-in ballot. Masks are required at voting locations, and we do have all this information up on Kega9.com. Let's take a look at your forecast here. You're taking a look at triple digits as we cool off a little bit into the 90s and our storm chances go up.